Hey guys, this is Woodsworth 100. You're the viewers and I'm the reviewer. Welcome to another quickie. Recently, Comseb gave me a game code for my 3DS. Yes, finally! Recognition for WizWar! For those that are backing the Mighty No 9 game. Oh, it's never because of WizWar! Although the Smash Brothers code was worth noting, though. The game that comes with the code is Mighty Gun Vault, an 8-bit Mega Man-like game which you can play as three different characters that go through five stages in a different order to... Insert plot, please! Hmm, let's see. Time and place, experiments, group, idols, disappearing female students, magic hand, love and peace. Long story short, there are people missing, specifically female school students, and it's up to Gun Vault together with Angel Lee Koro and Robot Beck to fight for freedom! Love and peace! Ugh, I am not fudging kidding you. That's all I understood from the story with lots of grammar errors included on purpose. Apparently, but how would anybody know that? But don't worry about the plot because I skipped the story and it doesn't really mean anything once you start playing it. So as I said earlier, it's a Mega Man-like game where you gotta go through the levels, collecting food and health power-ups, avoiding or blasting hazards, making it to the boss, and defeating the boss. You don't get any boss weapons, just a note, but you'll find out that there's no point to getting them. You have five stages you go through which are arranged in a different order depending on who you're playing as, which took me a little while to notice, but this is a pretty neat design choice that I approve of. Ah yes, the characters. You can play as one of three characters, each with different abilities that you can take a quick look at on the bottom screen for reference. I'll start with the order I went with, which is Gun Vault, Ekoro, and Beck. And to those that have misaligned A buttons on their 3DS, mostly myself, have no fear as this game uses the Y and B button for the game, which is a nice thought, although I'd still ask for an option to change the controls. Starting with Gun Vault from Azuro Striker Gun Vault, which I've never played, but he's my personal pick for this game since he has a double jump and his charge attack is this lightning chain that can go up or down, which is pretty cool and does decent damage. He's the most flexible character to play out of the three. Next is a Koro from Galstar Gun, which I also never played because it was only released in Japan. She can hover for a moment and charm any enemy she hits with her full charge blast to help fight alongside her, and sending them crashing like a suicide bomber into an enemy if you try to do another charge attack which I always accidentally do and miss. Although it's not that useful as any enemy you charm dies pretty quickly in about two hits regardless of who you charm and does the same lame attack by shooting pellets, probably just to keep this game simple. Ikoro would be my second pick, her attacks and abilities are okay, but not as good as Gunvolt, but better than Beck. Getting around to Beck from Mighty No 9, I Beck and this is why they were giving away the codes, he is probably the most difficult one to play and would be the third on my list. He has a slide move, which isn't very useful overall in this game because for the majority of the game it requires lots of jumping and the secrets you can only reach with Beck isn't that great because there's also not enough of them to justify the slide's usefulness. His charge attack isn't that helpful either. Sure, it's a strong dash attack, but this also gets him hit in the process and the reach is not as good as a charge blast, but Ikoro took that so they had to do something different. Also, you have to be careful where you release your charge attack, which unlike the other two can fire and forget, but Beck has the dash and he also bounces off anything he comes in contact with. Which leads me to French kissing bombs thrown at me and it was not a blast to be had. But what do I think of the game overall? I think Mighty Gun Vault is a short and sweet game, despite any gripes I may have with it, like Beck and the train level boss. Aw oh, you bitch! The game has nice 8-bit graphics and music, so if you love retro games, this is pretty nice. The game didn't take very long to beat, even with all three characters. It's pretty short having only five levels, but it doesn't overstay its welcome. You could argue they could have had a few more levels to utilize the character's ability better, and that's true too. Maybe 8 or 10 levels total would be nice. The levels are pretty laid back and not all that interesting or that challenging. The challenge comes with the boss fights, especially the train level boss. That bitch, and if he's a guy, I don't care. Still a bitch. Which still aren't very hard, but compared to the levels, they are more challenging. The different characters to use and the arranged path for each to go through is a nice touch to change up the game. Would I recommend it? Not for $3.99. The game's so short that it just doesn't justify the price, and I know this is supposed to be a small game, but I still wouldn't recommend it for that price. Not recommended. I mean, if I paid for this and found out it was this short to finish, I would feel somewhat ripped off. But if it was to say $1.99 or it came packaged in with another game, then sure, go check it out. So, I'm Woodsworth 100, you're the viewers, and I'm the reviewers, so stay tuned for more. Hey guys, thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed it. And if you 
you want more than you can see here, be sure to follow me on my Facebook and Twitter for updates on reviews and videos. If you want to help me out, I have a Patreon account, and if you haven't already done so, subscribe to my YouTube channel for more video game content for you to watch, such as the videos I'm showcasing right now. Check out my site, Lazy Works Creations, and River City Gamers for more content like mine, such as this video's recommendations is... Zero Masters Mega Man 7 Review. Will it have Mega Man in it? Of course it does! It's called Mega Man 7! What is this, S-Play? Links to all that goodness is right in the description, or click the annotations if you're watching on YouTube.